Today I will show you how you can make a smooth text in After Effects that looks just like this to help your edits blow up. Why would anyone possibly confuse you with me? Because we're the same person. That's right. Make sure to watch till the end so you don't miss out. To start, you want to select the clips that you want to put the text for, head to the top row, select the text icon, click on the screen and create a new text. Now just write your text and you want to do that for every single sentence. Once you've done that, it should look something like this. And now to adjust how our text looks, we're going to select the whole text, head to the right under character panel, we can adjust the settings. You want to start by changing the font size and I'm just going to make it a bit smaller. So I'm going to put this value down. I also want to adjust the space between each line, so I'm going to head to the right and actually change this value a bit down. Last but not least, you can change this setting to increase or decrease the space between each letter. I'm just going to do it to 25 for this edit. Now we want to go ahead and center our text once, so we're going to click on each letter, head to the right, open the align panel and click this icon right here. I want to make the word person a bit bigger and change the color to red to make it stand out a bit. So I'm gonna go ahead, select the word, open the character panel on the right, and increase the text size. Now I'm also gonna adjust the space between the lines and change the color from white to red. Press OK. What we're gonna do now is add some text effects to make our text stand out more. We're gonna start by adding deep glow, so we're gonna go ahead and open our effects and presets panel and search for deep glow. Drag it onto your layer and copy my settings. We're going to put the radius to 200, put the exposure to 0.8, then we're going to put the threshold to 100 and the threshold smooth to 30. Now also what's really important because you can see at the moment there's a black bar in the background, we're going to go ahead and enable the check mark that says required for text, this is going to remove the black bar. Now we're going to add one more effect, so we're going to go ahead and search for the preset drop shadow, drag it onto our layer, change the opacity to 100, change the distance from 5 to 8 and the softness to 7. Once you've applied them onto one layer, you can just go ahead, select both of them, press Ctrl and C on your keyboard to copy and paste them onto the other text layers. Now because we have multiple lines and the bottom one is currently not center, we're going to go ahead and duplicate each layer once, except for the last one because there's only one line. And we're going to go ahead and on the top layer that we just duplicated, delete the bottom row of text and on the bottom row, delete the top row. Now go to the next one and do the same. On the top one, delete the bottom row and on the bottom one, delete the top row. As you can see now, when we select the bottom one, and we open our align panel and click the center one, both of the texts are now centered. Do that for the other one as well, and you can see it looks way better. Once that's done, we're going to want to add an animation for the text to appear. To do that, we're just going to open our effects and presets panel again and search for paid up words. Apply it onto your clip and press U to open the keyframes. The first keyframe basically declares the start of the animation and the second one when it's finished, meaning when your text is supposed to be fully visible. So we're going to drag it to the point where you want a text to be fully appeared, which is right here for me. Now at this point, we're also going to cut the bottom layer and delete the first part of it because we don't need it because we're only going to have one line. Now in this layer, we're also going to add our animation preset for the fade up words. Press U on our keyboard to open the keyframes and drag it to where the text is fully spoken. Now every time where we have two or more layers, we're just going to recompose them to one. To do that, select both the layers and press Ctrl, Shift and C on your keyboard. Make sure the bottom option is selected and also enable this check mark. Now press OK. And as you can see, now it's pre-composed into one. Do that for this one as well. And we're also going to do it for the last one. Now we're going to zoom in a bit. Go approximately six frames before text ends. Press T on our keyboard to bring up the opacity property, set a keyframe at 100 and then go to the very end and drag it all the way down to zero. What that does is it makes your text smoothly fade out instead of just disappearing as you can see right here. It doesn't just end, it just slowly disappears. To add the last thing, now press S on your keyboard to bring up the scaling property, set a keyframe for 100 at the very beginning, disable constraint proportions right here, it's this little check mark next to the value. Go to the end of your text layer and set the value from 100 to 110. Now you can just copy this preset and apply it to the other layers as well. 
And as you can see what that did, our text is now slowly coming towards us and it makes it look way more smooth. Why would anyone possibly confuse you with me? Because we're the same person. That's right. Now you finally have created your first own intro, which should boost your views immensely. And if you want to learn how you can make the text track to a face just like this. Why would anyone possibly confuse you with me? Because we're the same person. That's right. Make sure to watch the tutorial in the top right corner right now because I made a full step-by-step -step guide on how to do that. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment. Check out my page for loads of After Effects beginner guides and if you want my exact presets that I use to make my edits look the best as possible, make sure to click the first link in the description to buy my presets. You can also check out my Discord server where I'm online all day and you can ask me questions. That's it, thank you for watching and see you next time.